What I see as what I call the traditional model that people approach this arena. So these are my sketches. So what I see people is they first, they learn about the government marketplace, right? So it's like, ding, you hear about the government marketplace, you're all excited. All these billions of dollars in contracts, they've got to give 23% to small businesses. So 23% of 500 billion is 160 billion, right? So then we all jump out there to get registered. In fact, some people are so excited that they actually pay someone to register them, which to me is mind boggling. I mean, we have people that are in inside the Facebook group that pay $3,000 to get registered and they were very excited about it. And so, you know, we were so excited to go out there and get registered that we're willing to even pay for it because we think that, you know, now that we're registered, then, Hey, we're ready to get contracts. So then what I see is we go on FBO, Fedbit, Nico, right? We go on there, we look at all the jobs, we look at all the bids, and then we pull down an RFQ that we think, you know, that we can participate in and that makes sense for us, right? And so though we, we then submit a bid and then we kind of hope and pray that something happens. And then we repeat that cycle time and time again. And so then, you know, people that come to me say, Eric, help me put together this bid, help me put together this bid, help me put together the bid. And I always ask the people, do you even know the people that you're bidding these projects to? No, 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 but I saw this job and it's perfect for me. I'm an electrician, this electrical job. I understand that. But what if this agency only buys electrical one time a year? Or what if this is the first time they've ever bought electrical services and they don't know how to buy electrical services? What if the agency never buys electrical services ever again in their life? What if they are sourcing it out to someone else to manage this project and they don't even know how to manage an electrical services project and you run into all types of problems? I can tell you because I've had the honor and privilege to work with many, many, many of you guys out there that the people who I know of that have won contracts, some of the people that we know, they're running into problems because they have not built the relationship with the agency first. And so when there's a hiccup in the contract, when there's a problem with the item, when the item doesn't arrive on time, when the item is not exactly the right color, when the item is not exactly the right size, because they don't have a relationship with the agency, they're not given any leeway. And so it's great to want to bid and win projects, but for me, I want to make money. Hey, GovCon Giants family, did you enjoy that video? If you'd like to see more content like that, click the join button now to find out more options about how to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.